uh, my wife and I decided that um, we wanted to try an experiment with some of our chicken feeds. So we have ordered from uh, New Country Organics, as the company it comes from, um, the base staples for making our own chicken feed and for sprouting these seeds. These are all whole grains. Um, so in this mix, we have whole corn, we have organic wheat, organic peas, that corn's organic as well, organic whole oats, and organic barley. So we're going to experiment with uh, soaking this and uh, sprouting these as seeds to um, prolong the, the, the use of the, of the feed and reduce the cost. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we also have the standard uh, layer feeds there from uh, New Country Organics and a, and a scratch grain. So we'll continue to feed those while we try these out. But um, the other thing is, New Country Organics, even, even the bags, we use these. The bags themselves are uh, biodegradable. Um, you guys have seen our other videos where we talk, talk about using the mulch bombs. But um, So we'll, we'll save these and use these bags for that purpose. They're, they're great for breaking down in the uh, uh, compost or, or using them again as mulch bombs to kill those hard to kill um, areas of grass and weeds. So um, just part of the chores here on the farm today. So I'm going to get started. So what we're doing is we have uh, five five gallon buckets and we have five different feeds, uh, feed ingredients. We have, what do we have? We barley, have barley, oats, oats peas, corn, corn, and wheat. wheat. And these are all, each of these are whole grains. They've not had anything done to them. So we're going to put one in each of these buckets, each of the five buckets first to see how well they sprout. Yes. How long they take. Yes. And in the end, what we're going to do, if I understand right, is we'll have a bucket that, that soaks one day, and then the next day it gets Drain. poured into a bucket that has holes in the bottom and drains to the ones below it. So you end up with um, a, re a repeating cycle of five days of grain. Sprouted, grain. sprouted grain. So they're sprouted in order to make them digestible and get as much nutrient out of them as possible. Is that right? Yes. So that is the goal. That's the goal. And We're maybe figuring it'll, it out as we go. So maybe it'll also <laughs> um, help reduce feed costs, keep the feed costs lower if they don't eat as much because they're sprouted and they're full. Um, and again, get better nutrients out of them. And what was it you were telling me? Some you heard about the corn, the whole corn. Yeah, a chicken lady, I can't remember who it was, said if you want to have your chickens lay all winter long, give them whole corn and plenty of grit. Whole corn and plenty <laughs> of grit to help them lay through the winter and the cold months. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. To start that. So, I'm going to put a scoop in each. Okay. I'm going to label what it is. Had the oh, that's a lot. That's a, nah, that's fine. One scoop. And that is barley? Yep. We're going to label them because once they soak and change their shape, things like the barley and the oats and, oats and the wheat look very, very similar. And especially after they're soaked, it'll be hard to tell apart. So we're going to write. And all this chaff will come up. Maybe so. We're just going to put a label on each one. So. Okay, next one's oats. I don't like that they get up here. I don't want to waste them. Ah. One of the things we've actually done, these are 50 pound bags, but one of the things I've noticed from New Country Organics, we've actually weighed them, is they usually have anywhere from four to six pounds more weight to them than a typical 50 pound bag. So New Country Organics does a good job. These are peas, and they look like peas. Yeah, we really don't need a label for the peas, but we're going to do it anyway, because we're... 
Well, two, we're not going to be able to see them if they're all stacked up because somebody didn't get lids. Yeah, I only, had, I only picked up one lid. Thinking they would all be stacked. And they will be stacked. There's peas in the hair too. The last one's wheat. Oh, speaking of wheat, what happened to that wheatgrass? It's on the patio. Get it. Finish feeding it. Wow. Somebody needs to. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add some water to those and let them soak. Are you giving them city water or rain water? Um, today we're going to use tap water. Okay. This is what we have out here in the barn. Okay. Go for it, mister. <laughs> Not really. Not on at all. There's a trickle. I'm covering it by about an inch or so. Yeah, I think the bigger seeds might need a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah. Can't put too much. Really. True. Okay. I need to stir them anyway, just to make sure the bottom is. Get them all coated good. Yeah. And then tomorrow we can come out and see. Yeah. So each day while we're figuring this out, we'll we'll uh, check them each day to make sure what has sprouted. Tomorrow we can rinse them and then keep them moist and rinse them each day and see what happens. We could lay them out in a tray, but I don't want to do it. <coughs> I want them to sprout in the bucket. Okay. Stacked in any particular order? Okay, okay, okay. Well, nice. Put them alphabetical, but it's not a big deal. Them. They're already kind of. Can't read them. Oats. Ugh. Dirt doesn't matter, right? Not particularly. That's the corn. And this is I thought I already put corn in. I thought That's that wheat. was corn. It doesn't matter. Just stick them on. It's silly. Whoa. Why is that <coughs> There's one? There's one that got more water in it than the other one. That's all right. Now, we get a lot of afternoon sun. Should this be more in the aisleway where the sun hits it? Sure. So we'll set them right there. That way they get some sun, and that should help heat them up a little bit, warm them up. Okay. All right. So you know, our project we've been working on sprouting grains to feed to our chickens, <coughs> and one of the things um, that this is supposed to do is expand the use of the feed, make it more nutritious for them, and easier to digest. <coughs> And so, four days. For day four, if you can see this, we have all of these grains. We put one scoop of, of that's wheat. 
of grains. This one is wheat, and they have all sprouted and are growing in the bucket. The so, wheat and barley matted. Not, not, uh, not, not using the, uh, not turning this into fodder right now, but only um, expanding the use of the of the feeds and the seeds so that the, the chickens can get as much nutrients out of it as possible. But you can see the, you see this also. The corn was the least sprouted in four days. The corn was the least sprouted, but that may be a temperature issue because it's been pretty cold and wet. But everything we've got, all of the seeds have sprouted. <laughs> so the next step is we're gonna figure out the ratio of how much to put in the, in the process to feed to them. Um, and uh, so we'll continue to, to work on this and get it, get it ironed out. We may end up sprouting three of the seeds and foddering the barley and wheat during the winter time. Maybe so. Just so they can get more green. But you know, we put one scoop of, of each of the grains um, and as you can see by the time by the time they expand and sprout it really changes the volume so there's probably two scoops in here now um, by volume so we're gonna mix these up and uh, see if we can feed some of them to the chickens and see how that goes see what they do with, uh, with a couple scoops of this okay. Oh, poor chicks. Sorry about the rain. So, we're out here with the, our current laying hens, and uh, Alyssa's going to spread out some of the, the sprouted grains for them and, and see how they like that. What do they think? They seem to like it. Ones that'll come out. We might save some of that because these guys have already been fed today. They might not be that hungry. We can uh, feed some of it to the babies, which are almost always hungry. Just putting some of that, some of that uh, sprouted grain out for them. I think these guys seem to like it. Oh man, dude! I know we've had so much rain. We need to move their feeder. Oh, there's an egg way over there. Oh, poor babies. So we're inside the laying hen's coop. We're gonna put a. She's putting a little bit of the sprouted grain inside their little feeder here. It's so cold and yucky Very and wet. Very cold, wet day. Oh, Got a stray egg eggs. over there. Alright, so here's the, the new chicks, the 57. And as you can see, those guys are just going after it like crazy. These new New young birds are, seem like they're always hungry, but they are really liking those sprouts, those sprouted grains. The fence is on, dear. So wet and cold today. Some of the birds aren't coming out of the out of the coop. There's a bunch of them. I don't know if you can see them inside the, the laying, laying part of the, of the coop. There's one coming out. But I'd say that was a success. These young birds really do like the sprouted grain, and hopefully that'll give them better nutrition and uh, expand the, or extend the use of the of the feed.